Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning, live from Los Angeles. This is Dr. Aaron teaching universal law, spiritual truth, how to reprogram the subconscious mind and all that good stuff. Oh my gosh, it has been a while since I've been on here. I had a little break and I am feeling excited and a little bit of um, anticipation because I've been out of the studio for 11 days and I'm headed back in for a powerful, powerful show this morning on this Motivation Monday. And it's interesting because I had to get a little real with myself for a little bit because right before the vacay and the little trip, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we've had over 450 guests on Good Morning La La Land, and it's been a very, very busy last uh, year for sure. No question about it, as you guys all know. And um, I was beginning to feel a little overwhelmed and quite frankly, a little burned out, which is very unlike me. I usually bounce out of bed in the morning and I have so much creative juice coming out of me, downloads from the universe and all that good stuff. And I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And quite frankly, I was also feeling a little confused because I was trying to merge the two brands together, Dr. Aaron and um, Good Morning La Land, making sure that I was staying on principle, on truth uh, through all of it. And it's been a little challenging. So I wanted to talk today about how to handle being overwhelmed. And I know I've talked about this topic one other time, but I dove into it at a whole new level in the last 11 days. And so I wanted to share some of the truths, distinctions, and workability to come out of my suffering and pain. Uh, So first, I just want to acknowledge that there's been a major shift uh, for me in my own awakening And this is one one of the things I know when I have had that shift is when things come up for me, negative emotions or problems or any of the above, and I don't look at it like, oh, poor me, or this is so hard, or or coming to like a place where I go and complain with my girlfriends. It's never like that anymore for me. In fact, whenever I'm in a state of feeling a negative emotion, I go, oh, yes, that means that there's some growth for me to have here. Oh, yes, this means that I'm not on principle. Oh, yes, this means I'm not fully living in alignment with my truth. And so it's an instant aha to do the work, go within and know the truth. So let's dive through this. So what happened was, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. I knew this. I actually knew this for, you know, a little bit of time before the break, but I thought it's okay. I didn't have time to kind of sit back and and do all the work. So I thought, good time. I'm going to schedule in some vacay time and I'm not going to go on vacation to, you know, I I really want to go to Hawaii, but I knew that I needed the time to reflect and to do some inner work. And I knew I needed to to basically declutter my life. Like I intuitively just knew I needed to do this. So what happened is I actually took off. I went to San Diego for a few days, got grounded, walked on the beach a lot, did that because we need to do that when we need to reground. And then what happened was I began to go into meditation, which we know no matter what, you need to get the mind right, tap into the true self and get grounded in that. And then I began to go over spiritual principle. So I want to share with you the three steps that I took that I highly recommend if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling confused, or even you're feeling like you don't have a lot of creative juice coming out of you. I actually think these steps help in that as well. So remember that number one, of course, is to always get into meditation, get into prayer, acknowledging and giving gratitude for the negative emotions that are the impetus for the growth that you need to have, that I need to have. It's the divine nudge to get us back on track to living our truth, okay? But then the three steps as far as kind of like if there were a formula for how to handle being overwhelmed, these are the three steps. So first of all, simplify. Basically, this is decluttering your life. So for me, I literally cleaned out every single closet in my home, every closet, my kitchen, my uh, 
office. I went through all my paperwork. I went through all my technology. I threw out like little old cords and things that I don't need anymore. I actually had a computer, my other computer that's a bigger computer that's in my living room. I actually swiped the entire thing. I took every single thing off of it and rebooted it, if you will. And um, I cleansed even my body. I went to the sauna and did a bit bit of sauna work. And again, please don't try that alone. There is another podcast and there are books. You need to take supplements if you go into the sauna. So please uh, seek your traditional doctor. Make sure you're ready for that. But for me, I go in and I cleanse the body to sauna work through all that and um, getting an alignment with my core priorities. So I organize my environment Um, even my phone. I went through my phone. I disentangled even from uh, anywhere I felt, I mean, actually, I didn't have to do this this time, anywhere that is dysfunctional relationships. I highly recommend if you're going to do this process, begin to just put some distance and boundaries on those relationships. Luckily, I didn't have to do that this time because I have no dysfunctional relationships. Congratulations to me. Okay, so step number two is to complete all cycles of action. So what does this mean exactly? This means that you basically can get a pen and paper out and write down all of the projects that you're up to. So for me, this was everything from the show to courses to my book to um, any cor- any cycles of actions. Like, so say I have projects that I'm working on, um, I have events I'm working on. I'm trying to think of other other projects. And basically, you need to put them into two categories, things that you know, you are not going to be fully committed to things that you know, you need to retire. And the other list will be the things that you're committed to. So there may be projects that you know, you're not committed to that you started and you haven't fully seen through. And they're lingering. Because the truth is this, at a subconscious level, everything in our life takes our energy every item in your home, every piece of clothing, every project, because at some level, we have to like keep track of it within our subconscious mind. So if it is not in order, it is taking and and burdening us of like that kind of guilt in our subconscious mind or feeling like, oh, I just I got to handle that. It's those things like taxes that you haven't dealt with, the mail that you haven't opened that you know that you just keep not opening because you need to open it and deal with it, that kind of stuff. So basically, number two is to complete all cycles of action. So going through your life, making a list of everything you have, every cycle, every project, everything, and either deciding to keep it and completing it and organizing it and keeping it in, in the ball in the air, if you will, or retiring it. Okay. So it's a great, oh my gosh, not fun at first, but let me tell you, when you complete this number two, complete all cycles of action, I promise you, you will have some freed up energy and you will be excited. I had so much energy and creativity coming out of me after that. Number three is to know your products. Okay. So this is the truth that yes, we are human beings. We're here to be in source and be present and all those good things. And we are here to direct our mind, direct energy upon universal mind and experience how we develop our consciousness in form. So we are here to actually produce something. Hate to break that news to you, but you are. You don't have to. But if you want to develop yourself in this lifetime as a spiritual being, we want to develop our ability to manifest, to demonstrate. So getting clear of what you're producing in your personal and professional life is part of this cleanup thing. So I had to go through, you know, what is it that I'm truly committed to producing on the show? What is it that I'm truly committed to producing in my my relationships, my personal relationships? What am I committed to producing in my health arena? What am I committed to producing in in all areas of my life, in my money and career and all the above? So going through those. So I highly recommend getting clear of what that is. Because this is the truth, you guys. Let's know the truth. Let's just take a deep breath for a minute, knowing that order is heaven's first law, that you are a powerful spiritual being, and the extent to which you exp- spread your energy upon many things, you will experience your powers being diluted. And the extent to which you focus your energy, you will experience yourself being powerful. So I say yes, yes, yes to what I know I'm truly committed to. And I know today I'm committed to practicing the law of harmony. This is the harmony. I know that I choose to have harmony instead of chaos and my life frees up as I do that. 
Today's spiritual practice is to practice simplifying, slowing down, decluttering, completing all cycles of action. And today's challenge is to just say no. And so on that, I know the truth today that you are a powerful spiritual being living in harmony, love, and wisdom, claiming your life and what you are here to do, which is living your truth. Thanks again for tuning in to Dr. Aaron. I'd like to invite you to write a review for this podcast on iTunes. It's important that we like, share, and comment and support the communities that we love. In return, I have a free gift for you, 30 guided meditations, which you can find at draaron.tv. That's www.draaron.tv. Get inspired and learn to use your mind for good via my free app, which includes my daily live show, interviews, power talks, universal law lessons, and more. Also, if you're ready to take a quantum leap in your life, you can join my mastermind and you can claim your free digital masterclass with the purchase of my international best-selling book, Awakening, a 40-day guide to unleashing your spiritual powers, life purpose, and manifesting your dreams. Thanks again, and may you live your truth.